why I want to document this is because uh, since my own rate also had a merger, so I just thought, okay, why not let's do this for uh, this uh, this read also. One of the committee members, uh, she holds shares in Fraser Commercial Trust. There was a merger that went through, and it was successful. The merger was announced in December two thousand nine, but then now she's asking me, Tas, uh, that since the merger has went through, uh, what can she do next? Why I want to document this is because uh, since my own rate also had a merger, so I just thought, okay, why not let's do this for uh this uh this read also. Basically, what I need you to do first is that before because it, I'm going to condense this video very fast and go straight into the into the valuations or the price arbitrage. So the price arbitrage. Okay, I had to pause the previous version of the video because I heard that the explanation is not very clear. The price arbitrage opportunity that I'm mentioning uh, happens when the REIT announces the merger. From the time that it announces the merger to the time if the shareholders approve or disapprove of the merger, this part of the uh, this period, I'll be very, uh, I'll pay more attention. Why? Because would it make sense to buy the other REIT or should I continue to buy more uh, units of the existing REIT? That is basically the price arbitrage that I need you to uh, pay attention to probably to the later parts of the video where I will share the Excel file. So thanks for watching and continue to watch. Uh, but I'm going to make an assumption that you have done the first two R's which is the right business model, uh, the right business mechanics or the second R is the right people driving the business before you identify the intrinsic value. Uh, there's a caveat here. If you buy REITs based on NAV, this video is not for you because I buy REITs based on the use that I want. Okay? So whatever you're going to hear and continue listening, right, is all based from uh, the use approach, not the asset approach. Okay? So when I first got her query, okay, now I go to the screen, uh, basically, the first thing I went to want to understand more is that since my first question is, do I invest in Singapore or foreign REITs, right? Uh, I'm kind of conservative. I prefer Singapore, but if you travel often to those countries, right, where you can understand the economies, go ahead. Okay, so it come points down to the uh, your confidence level and your circle of competence. So for me, currently, I am cautious when my REIT goes overseas to buy uh, properties because I'm going to show you something. So if I head back to the document, what I needed you to just understand is this part. Okay, You will see that the FL FLT had 92 assets and Fraser Commercial Trust has 6 assets. Okay, I'm going to show you what I, the numbers I extracted. Basically, from the from row six onwards downwards right i got it all from the latest financial year report okay what you can see is that flt is able to generate 125 million with 92 assets 70 million dividends with six assets so this naturally tells me that hmm Either the type of properties that the REIT hold has is a variable or the location of the properties uh, is another variable. So this is something that you need to go and uh, uh, you need to be mindful, just go and uh, analyze the other types of REITs. So naturally, uh, I do know that I wanted, uh, I think it's the second video. The second video, this video, uh, REIT investors must understand the government. Uh, though this video is, uh, yes, 36 minutes, one point, I docu it uh, documented the my thought process of choosing which type of property that I want my REIT to hold. Okay, so if you have time, uh, can you just watch the whole 36 minutes video? Okay, now head back there because uh, now you know that 
ninety-two assets generate one hundred twenty-five million. Uh, six assets generate seventy million. That's a huge difference. Okay, I'll go back to the uh, scheme consideration. So if you are a SCT shareholder, you receive one hundred fifty-one dollars cash and one thousand two hundred thirty-three units for every thousand SCOT units that you hold. So I'm gonna put this all these things into here. That's where you see the market price. Uh, today I'm recording as of twenty first March. So if the share price change, kindly just uh, do the necessary changes. So I put the share price in, and since if I can, I'm an FCT shareholder, I'll get back fifteen cents, right? So my effective buying price is here. I got the numbers, uh, the dividend numbers are here. In column F and column G, the resultant is uh, at column H. Since I'm gonna get more shares or one point two three three shares in FLT if I'm a FCO FCOT shareholder, this will be the resultant number of uh, shares that will be added into FLT. Thus, we will have three point three billion. Then row eleven shows the dividend per share in. The resultant read. Okay, thus, if you look back at the Excel file, okay, based on this dividend and the effective ship buying price, if during the price arbitrage, I continue to buy FCOT shares, I'm getting a yield of six percent as compared to if I buy. Stop buying FCOT and I buy FLT. Right, I'm getting seven percent. Of course, if they, if is it is it possible that merger can fail? Yes, there's a possibility. So in this whole uh price arbitrage opportunity, there are a few assumptions being made. One, definitely whether the merger can go through. Two, assuming that the amount of dividends remains the same or stay constant. Okay, then uh the use that you have, that you have seen of six percent if you have continued to buy FCOT versus seven percent if you. Stop buying FCOT and you buy FLT. So today is twenty first March. Uh, appreciate your time for watching. In and as you know, March two zero two zero. Uh, stock markets have swung wildly. Okay. Uh, even for my own week that's going through a merger, I'm also uh, capitalizing on this price arbitrage opportunities to increase my use for back from my read. May this video has added some value. And if you find that your friends can. Derive some value for the video, kindly share it with them. If you have questions, kindly drop them in the video comments below.